Yeah. I got your message. What do you want? No, it's not about what I want. It's about what you want. <laughs> it's something new and it's something that I'd never come across before. It's just like an extra little icing on the cake. It's interactive like a video game, so you get to choose the destiny of these characters, which I think is really cool. You never know just how it's gonna turn out. This whole idea of what we're calling navigational cinema. We've been trying to do this from the beginning of DVD, but the technology wasn't there yet. We couldn't really do that, but now we can, and I think it's a, it's a whole new age, and people are gonna love it. It was um, a completely new concept to me, actually. It did baffle me a little bit. What the hell? Yeah, it wasn't in the script that I agreed to do it. <laughs> and when I got out here, they're like, oh, yeah, no, there's like, you know, another 50, 60 pages. I didn't even know what branching was at the time. What, what, what exactly is branching? It's kind of like a pebble in the river theory. Ah! where you throw a pebble in the water and that ripples kind of cover the whole lake. You're prompted to make choices of story points and character decisions during the course of the movie. And that won't just affect that scene, but it'll affect the whole course of the rest of the picture. Desmond. Haru. I've always read books like that, where you go, OK, turn to chapter 15 to find out you know, where we go next. If you say one thing early on in the movie, it can make a whole difference to whether someone lives or dies. And that kind of took it, took it to a whole other level. I thought that's kind of an interesting thing to be involved in. The navigation is really intuitive and it's fun. You're not seriously suggesting that we all split up in a haunted house, are you? There's 96 possible permutations on the story. I mean, all controlled by the viewer. I mean, 96 ways the story could end. I think that's wild. So what's it gonna be? I'm coming with you. A character may do or say something in one scene that would affect a scene many, many scenes later. So you really can become almost a filmmaker. You're part of the process of making the movie. It's remarkable. Given your audience an option of what could happen, I think it's just gonna excite people. It's all about content. It's all about having more and more have a choice for the, for the, for the viewer, and you know, I think that's the way it's gonna go, and I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. Obviously, it gives me an alternate ending. You never know, Ariel might make it, she might not. You can decide if a character lives or dies. So, the right combination of choices, you can kill everybody. I mean, I get a pretty boring movie if they all die, but if that's what you wanna see, you can do that. One of our sequences is going to be pretty cool. It's pretty amazing. I, I really wish that was in the movie. Some people would see it, but some people may not even look at the branching, which you'd be losing out on. Got to look at the branching. I think it gave us all sorts of possibilities that we haven't seen before and that you wouldn't normally get as an actor. Don't move. I'm not going anywhere until I figure out what's going on. There are various ways that you'd behave that the character wouldn't necessarily, if you just keep watching the movie as a whole, but he suddenly turns slightly evil, or, uh, or you get to die several times in different ways, and uh, of course that's always exciting. Come on, let's go. Which it happens, I guess. <laughs> but it's cool. It could be really cool. I think it's about time that we need to be doing something different in the film industry and, you know, pushing the boundaries. This whole idea of what we're calling navigational cinema. I mean, you may think you've seen an effect like this before, but nothing really like this. This is the first time it's ever really been done before. I mean, it's a whole new idea. As confusing as it is for us to shoot it, it's, it's also kind of fun to see how it's gonna piece together in the end. It's nice to be a part of something that's right at the beginning of that process, you know? You're gonna find a way out of this goddamn house. But what do you expect when you're working on something like House on Haunted Hill? Guys! You know what I mean? Straight up. Guys! Help!